After winning their last two matchups against the Chicago Sky, Washington looking to make it three in a row with some tough defense and even more offense. Final score 80 to 59, making it three wins in a row for DC and three wins in a row against the Chicago Sky. Coach Jimmy Patsos is here with me. I'm Wes Hall. This is Mystics Post Game Live after a big victory, and we got a lot to talk about. I've got Megan McPeak and Christy Winter Scott going to join us in a moment. But, Coach, you got four scores and double figures. You held a team that in the previous two matchups only scored 69 points. This evening, you hold Chicago to 59 points. Defense, something you said that had to lead the way, and they got the job done. Defense, extra pass. They had a lot of extra passing started with Della Don. She's when your best player is willing to make passes, that helps. 29% for the game. That's yeah. what they held the sky to on the road. Great early energy. I love E squared. Yes. Early energy, especially on the road. Christy says we miss a lot of things as players, as coaches. We miss road wins. <laughs> that was a nice road win from the start. It was 25 to 9 at the yeah. end of the first quarter. The, the Mystics just established that we're beating you twice, but this one, we're going to be ready for you again. And it wasn't just the four starters in double figures, which I liked. Right, right. Coach Tebow went to his bench early, just gave a taste to everybody. Yes. It's going to be a group effort. Got some new players. Myers is out there. Not sure. Yes, okay. We're missing Lee Mung. She's over in Asia. She's over in Australia playing for the Chinese national team. That's okay. Yeah. Give some other girls some time. A lot of extra passes. Really good defense. Made some open shots. And Cloud, who had two points last game, hello, had 16 this game. Indeed, much improved. In other improved. words, things were improving and going. And Sykes was the only one not to get double figures, but she did. Yes, 11 boards. Shout out to Slim. I'm loving this team and everything that they're doing right now. I want to go ahead and bring in Megan McPeak and Christy Winter-Scott. And get, lady, I, I, I want your thoughts, not just in victory, but more or less the overarching element. Three wins in a row. Overall and against the same opponent. Megan, this has to be something that Coach T. Volt can hang his hat on. Yeah, and you look at this Sky team and what they've been able to do. So they've seen them now three times. They'll see them one final and fourth time a little bit later this season. You have a 3-0 advantage now against this Sky team, and I get it. It's still early in the season. It's hard to beat, hard to beat a team four times. But you look at this Mystics team, after that opener against the Liberty, they kind of showed us who they were, and you set the standard. So Eric was like, okay, you showed me who you are. Now this is what I'm expecting. They had a little bit of faults, and now they've slowly worked into it. Chrissy and I sit in in practices, and we've heard a few times where whether it's Cloud, whether it's Deladon, say it starts here. If we keep making the same mistakes in practice, it's going to continue to happen in games and they've continued to clear it up and that is why we've seen them now win three in a row seven of their last nine and why they've done it in very convincing convincing and strategic planning you know something else that I think about two ladies we something that we actually mentioned earlier in pregame tonight which was bench productivity yes. now even though Washington didn't win the bench competition with Chicago 16 points off of that Christy mm -hmm. and I'm looking at Shatori Walker Kembro who needed to improve some of her perimeter shooting two for two from deep giving her eight points over the night yeah I thought she was phenomenal and I think the bench is going to continue to improve and last season for Washington 28 percent of their offense came from the bench can they get that better Absolutely. Tonight, they were held to only 29% shooting on the defensive end. So I think for as much as we want the bench to score, can they lock down and play the defense? Can there not be a fall off on that side of the ball where Washington leads the league in five defensive statistical areas? So can you play at the pace necessary on the offensive end because of your staunch defensive production? Yes, and I think if you can check that box, the bench production offensively will come. But I think right now, Shatori Walker Kimbrough, she was shooting three of 14 from the floor coming into this game in the last three games. So to see her show and prove what she can do with her consistent offensive production, I think that's going to continue to develop as well. But it's all about the spacing. And I think their last three games that they've won in a row, I think their spacing has been paramount in terms of a key. If you're looking at an overarching idea of what got the win today, I think it had to be their offensive spacing. They were able to get the dribble drive, the paint threes, the kickouts, the dribble handoffs were there, and they were able to get their screening action. The only thing just a couple of times on the angles of passes into the post, a little off on that, but always something to clean up, and Pat Sos, you know all about that as a coach. Too. <laughs> I'm so happy always. we got a road win by 20. <laughs> no always complaining. Something. Some of the pickup. <laughs> no, where are we going to dinner? <laughs> hey, that's my favorite question to hear from a coach. <laughs> like, wherever you pick, coach, because I know you're paying for it. <laughs> there uh, you go. But, but something I do want to ask you, though, 
Coach, uh, coming into this game, we talked about Shakira Austin and Elena Della Don, and I had mentioned the fact that EDD was averaging 23 points against Chicago over these last two games. 32 points in the paint for Washington. Shakira and Elena combined for 28 of those points themselves. Well, this, this, this is your 5-4 that we're talking about that has a chance to be really good with a Hall of Fame veteran MVP, two-time MVP, won the finals. And Austin from the famed Riverdale Baptist program, we're going to talk about all the players that have come through there. Goes to Maryland, goes to Ole Miss. She's turning in. She has not played her best basketball yet, Austin. Right. She is going to get better. And she's learning to play with one of the best players in the history of the game. What they're doing is making a formidable tandem. And I, I saw what Coach Tebow said. They're running the screen and roll themselves. Yes. That's hard. Four and fives, you're used to helping on the screen, but you're not used to switching and getting over. That's a difficult matchup. That's something he's put in. But Della Don's so good, and she makes... Della Don was making a lot of unselfish extra pass plays tonight. And so Shakira sees that. She's going to do that, you know. I just thought the whole thing, the energy from the beginning, everyone's coming around. I think Cloud... I want to ask... Uh, you know, Megan and, and, and Christy, this Atkins and Cloud, they, they, they don't shy away from criticizing themselves. They take this own responsibility and then back it up with a really good game. And that's why I think they're going to be in the finals with the Aces, because those two, along with the other two, and Sykes, who just does a little of everything, we get our bench. But Cloud and Atkins, to me, their accountability, I'm, I'm not around them as much. Is this something that's just... In the, in the days of not accepting accountability and being responsible, they're over-accountable, and I think that's what's going to make them great. Absolutely. I mean, there's seven players on this roster, you guys, who have won a title with the Mystics back in 2019. Those two are part of that, obviously. But I think when you have the confidence and the wherewithal and the experience and the leadership qualities that those two possess, I think great things are on the horizon. And yes, you're going to hit some patches where shots aren't falling or you're not playing at your best top level, but that's not going to stop you from going hard. And those two will always bring the energy and compete. And all I'll say is this, Wes and Coach Patsos, from the great you know, USC head coach out of love and basketball. Point guards lead from the front, not the back. Mm, first of all, that's a good movie. If you she's a point guard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, as, as, if you're going to do film study, that's that's <laughs> what we do it. I appreciate that, yeah. Megan McPeak. As love a matter of fact, ladies, we appreciate both of you. Looking forward to the next game against New York. That's going to be a challenging matchup. Natasha Cloud, back where she wants to be, putting up numbers. That's what it's all about on Cloud Nine. Head coach Eric Tebow at the postgame podium. On the other side, Mystics postgame live back in a moment on NBC Sports Washington.